Resort.com. Man, Ira got some. Yeah. He got some influence going on. Uh, I think all, all credit to Miss. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See Miss that? Had it, Miss had it ready Turn for Turn my me. music high, 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 high. Year. And for all yeah. those that are watching online, you will not hear the music. <laughs> oh, get a lot they of trouble. The music. Oh, not on, not on the them. stream. They do on the radio, but not on the stream oh, because the there stream. are some yeah, sorry, right. yeah. trademark issues. Yeah. Yeah. Trade, issues yeah. But the stream yeah. got to recognize. They get a lot of you know. They get a lot uh, more nah, than they, the, the radio gets. Uh, exactly. Exactly. So you so, know how you know how I talked about. Ryan Day's a man with sensitivity. Oh, my goodness. Here you go. He's going to get it started already. No, no, there was a point to me mentioning this to back up what Ivor was saying. I didn't even play the music to a man with sensitivity. We just saw him dancing around with his shirt open, you know, because, you know, yes, Ryan, Ryan yes, Day. Yes, yes, You talking about on, on, what yeah, we did our show. Yeah, yes, you know, so. Ryan Day, dye his chest hair, all that, right? You know, we were like, we didn't, <laughs> what? <laughs> you didn't know right name Dye's chest hair. That man Dye's did not chest hair, Dye's chest hair. Dye's chest hair, man. So oh my God. I was just talking about what a sensitive man Ryan Day is, just showing Ralph Trasvon dancing around, talking about he's sensitive with his shirt open too. And do you know they flagged me for that? Really? Yes, they flagged me for that. I didn't even play the sound, right? Just oh, put it on the screen. Ohio State flagged you for that. No, no, no. I mean, whoever uh, Ralph Transron's people are. No, I say called <laughs> Ralph Transron's people. Hold on. Hey, you know he using your video without a... <laughs> and he making money off of it. <laughs> hey, man, hey, yeah, they got me. They got it's me. It's like, do you have people just sitting and looking and waiting? There's, there's a phrase we will not say on the air, but Michael Buffer is very famous for. And if you utter that phrase, he has people that will find you, and it will be a What's five. What's the phrase? I will not say it because it will cost you five figures, Devin. What is it like? It's the one that opens boxing matches. Michael Buffer used to do Let's Do Something. Are you serious? Yeah. yeah, you can't say that. You cannot say the phrase. You can't play it. If you, you say, say the that. phrase, he will find you, and then he will send you a bill for like twenty five thousand dollars. You're lying. No, it has happened That's to wow, like small radio stations, not affiliated with anybody that we know. But I've seen the articles. L G R. Yes, that one. T R. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, that one. L G R T R. You said that. Uh, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, it seems like you should be able to say that. You can't get that one too. Hey, man, he come get you. He man, come get that's you. crazy. That's smart. All right, but we got to get into it. The Monday morning quarterback with Devin Gardner brought to you by our friends at Grand Traverse Resort and Spa. You see it on the hat, GTR. You see it on the shirt. Oh, this side, this side right here, GTR. That's where we're going to be this weekend as the Michigan Insider heads up. For our annual trip, our pilgrimage up north, where we go and we do a key bank countdown to kick off live from Grand Traverse Resort and Spa. Going to have a great, great time. So really, really looking forward to that. And heading into the night game versus TC. You are also going to do the morning show Friday up there as well. So if you're in the neighborhood, Ira said it's not going to be. I mean, he's going to. You're going to try to golf, right? I'm going to try, but the weather's not looking great. Yeah. So I mean, the right before we're there and right after we're there, the weather looks great. But yeah. while we're there. Yeah. Hey, Matt Morelli said he's taking odds on when DG shows up with the Sherpa. Oh, don't worry. It's coming. <laughs> Y'all, hey, yeah, I'm not playing with this weather. It's it was beautiful today. yesterday. It was, it's it's kind of nice today. But when I got in the car, I saw the, like the little, what's the stuff on your car where you can't really see out of it? You got to put your windshield wiper on one time. I saw that today. So, Mr. Mr. Morelli, you better take your bets. And I'm telling you, it's going to hey, be soon. So, DG, you're a commentator. Right. Uh, okay. Well, I don't even know where this goes. I can't trust you. I can't trust you. Yes, you can. You can trust me. I can't trust you. BG, you my guy. We we trust each other. Every you, time you do this, there's always some bull junk coming. <laughs> so so DG, you know, when Reggie Bush left, I thought, oh, the, I, thought my the, God. I thought the dumbest hell takes were gone, right? I thought the stuck on stupid moments were eliminated. Who you attacking now? But Urban Meyer is still there. And Urban Meyer before the game. Before the Michigan, he's up, like, hey, man, he's the commentator. I'm Urban Meyer. I know the Big Ten. Michigan's schedule is so bad, they are going to be ready for Nebraska. I, Michigan's on upset alert. Nebraska's ready for him. I believe in Matt Rule. This is going to be a closer game than a lot of people thought, than a lot of people thinking. Watch out. Watch out, Michigan, because you're on upset alert. That's yes. said that? Urban Meyer. Urban Meyer Him said and Matt that. Rule friends, man. 
Are you? I think they good friends. I think they good friends. You my you my guy. I love you, man. Are you gonna look stupid for me? I'm not gonna look stupid for you. I, you know, it depends. No, oh, man. If I know I can just get away with it, right? <laughs> nah, it's like, ah, oh, I'll look stupid a little bit for Sam. Nah, no, you won't. No, you won't. That's wild. That's a wild take. Is that a take? You got to say that's yeah, a take? That's I mean, a wild it's all take. over Twitter right now. Oh, they're killing. They're killing. They should kill him. But the th- you got to think about it, though. For him, he can't stand Harbaugh, and he friends with Matt Rule. And Matt Rule probably been gassing him up like, hey, man, I'm telling you, we are only – we switch quarterbacks. We, I'm telling you, this new kid, this kid we putting in, I'm telling you, we, we got a chance. You see how good our defense was in the beginning? And this offense is not nearly as explosive as Colorado, and we just got to keep on pushing. And so he like, shoot, I could step out front, kill Michigan with a take, and, and, and two birds one stone, help out my friend. I mean, I got – it's a lot of victory involved there. And the only thing you have to deal with if you're wrong, like, well, actually, when you're wrong, because obviously you saw it happen. It's just Twitter blowback. He could have looked like a genius. Yeah, but Devin, this is the same guy who wouldn't pick Michigan to win the Big Ten. He just said, whoever wins the game will win the Big Ten. If he thought Ohio State was going to win that game, he would have picked Ohio State to win the Big Ten. Well, yeah. So that's just because he's not going to do He's not going to do Michigan stuff. He's not. He, he's Ohio State guy. He probably going to go back and coach them just to, at Ohio State. You never know. Yeah, he he's not jumping with, he ain't doing no good stuff toward Michigan. Including picking him to win the game, even if he didn't pick Ohio State, which is crazy. That's a good. That's that's smart. I already did not pick. Hey, he did not man. pick Ohio State. He said whoever. He had, so that's a lot of respect he got. He does have respect for Michigan, but then on the other end, when you he pick Nebraska to upset, he ain't said he was gonna beat him. He said upset alert. Anybody here upset alert? Right? Kind of no. <laughs> not the way Nebraska is playing. No, bro. Especially after he just watched his protege. Cry on national TV about how disrespected he felt for, for <laughs> talking about Notre Dame. Like, I'm Notre Dame. Where Lou Holtz is right now. A ray team, right? Are we going to play the whole thing? <laughs> <laughs> right? He's talking like that. And then he going to disrespect Michigan, an unranked team, a team that hasn't had a winning record since 2016, a team that hasn't been ranked since 2012 or finished in the rankings since 2012. Which one is disrespectful? I would offer you Urban Meyer, who's still an active commentator. Lou Holtz sitting somewhere, you know, in, a, in an Epsom salt bath. He ain't doing nothing. <laughs> Epsom salt's good for you. <laughs> I know it is, but I'm saying he's not doing anything. Yeah, and that's, that's a... when you call it out, and then you come on TV and disrespect Michigan the way that y'all think Lou Holtz just disrespected y'all. Come on, man. That's a Well, he not with Ohio State, though, <laughs> technically. Come on. <laughs> You don't believe that, DG. You know the hey, whole first quarter I don't th- was scripted I think that by, was pretty by Urban Meyer last that year. That was a goofy take. And the thing is, though, stuff like that is what gets you up and so you don't have to worry about a, a letdown. It's like, I know, what? what are you talking about? Oh, he's trying to – oh, that – because when it's coming from him, Michigan hears it as if Ohio State said it, right? So, you got, like you said, you got Ryan Day talking crazy to Michigan through Lou Holtz, and now you got Urban Meyer talking crazy. They getting them up before the game even come. That ain't smart, I don't think. Especially the way you've been getting kind of pummeled a little bit. You want you want Michigan to roll in like, oh, we didn't dog these dudes at their crib. We dogged them at our house. Worse at their crib. We ain't worried about this game for real. This ain't even the game. This is a game. And then they roll in kind of slow. You jump on them, whatever. But you keep talking crazy for weeks and weeks leading up to the game. Michigan going to be re- – I mean, they're going to be ready anyway, but – They'll be ready, ready. They're like, all right, they've been talking crazy. We're going to punch them off. Similar to when we went to go play Michigan State, and I thought we were just going to sneak up on them, and we go and stab a stake in their field. <laughs> what are we you doing? Still, you sound like you still haven't forgiven Joe Bolton for that. I have not. To this day? I have not. I had a size 17 shoe on, and you're stabbing stakes in people's field so they can run me down, the rabbit dogs. You on defense. You can avoid contact all you want and just do whatever. Me, on the other hand, I'm being chased by animals. <laughs> The scars the man still bears. I, I agree. I, I Who know, gave him that hey, state? Man. I, <laughs> Never I, mind. I, All right. I know I'm not gonna do this. Let's go to where we need to go to because this is gonna get me going. And I am I don't forgive him. No, I don't forgive him. <laughs> All right. Who's folks. gonna sneak up on him that year? I'm telling you. Hey, I had no idea what's coming. I got not I got healthy enough to walk. Yo, this man crazy. I do not like him. I'm mad at him, man. <laughs> I'm mad. All right. Folks, it is time for Devin's. I can't appra- believe it's like, no, It's time for Devin's appraisal of the game. Brought to you by our friend Mark Orr at Lake Michigan Credit Union. Mark Orr, mortgage loan officer at Lake Michigan Credit Union, specializes in assisting healthcare and educational professionals. Contact mark.or at lmcu.org. Again, you can contact Mark at mark.or. That's O-R-R 
at lmcu.org to get pre-qualified. So appraise this game for me, DG. Michigan's performance on the road, 45-7 to over Nebraska. I'm going to save my attack on you since you did butter me up earlier about tomorrow I'm your guy and all that. Yeah. I'm going to save my attack for you right. for the next segment. Oh, I'm ready. Oh, I'm going to rip your face off. I know. Because you talked crazy to me and, and made me cuss on radio. You made me cuss on radio. I didn't you made crazy me act you. crazy. I still no, think you wrong. I'm not. I still think you wrong. That's right. I'm not about I'm, to do I'm this with you. I'm ready for you. I'm not about to do You're not ready for nothing. I'm ready for you. You ain't ready for Let's nothing. Go. Let's you, go. I'm, Let's you know what? Go. I'm going to just say for the next segment. You already got people in the stream trying to gas you up. I don't need gas. I don't need gas. I was very clear. I don't need gas. Hey, it's my appraisal. Shut your mouth. You shut your mouth. This is my appraisal. This is not Sam's appraisal. You're you're right. Right. You right. need to be quiet while I'm praising. I'm going to let y'all talk on this segment. I don't, don't want to hear it. You started on I'm going to let y'all talk on this segment. I'm going to get right. you on the next one. All right, let's go. <clears throat> the appraisal of this game is, you know, the Michigan football team came out, I, whether they were motivated by comments or whatever, I think they were coming to prove a point anyway, uh, especially first time on the road. You never get a chance to make a first impression, and their first impression on the road is in a, a – I wouldn't call Nebraska a hostile environment, even though it seems hostile. If you're actually there, the fans are super nice, right? It's so weird. It's such a weird thing. The first time you play, I'm like, man, are they, ex- are, you, are they telling me good luck? Like, hey, give it everything you got as you're walking. I don't know if it's still the same, but that's how it was. And I talk to people from, from Nebraska, it's because they just love football. Like, so they got, they love football. They love to have you there and, and competing against their team, whatever. But I knew they would put their best foot forward, but JJ was a masterful yet again. Uh, back to his old self. Obviously, he was back to his old self the week before. And, and, then, and then this week, uh, making plays off schedule or outside the pocket, inside the pocket. I mean, some of those lasers he threw on those digs was like, if I'm a defender, I'm moving out of the way of that. Like, I don't want to reach my hand in there and get my fingers broke over, over this one little completion. You know what I mean? Like, he's, he's played really well and, and very clean. And the fact that he moves out, how many times he's moved outside the pocket to make these plays, you know, rolling left out of bounds, rolling right out of bounds, rolling left out of bounds, making plays, it's opened up for when he starts to run, right? Because now they don't want to sacrifice those huge plays that they give up when he's moving outside the pocket and throwing downfield. So what they're doing is they're plastering like you're technically supposed to, right? When the quarterback starts to move, you should plaster. And plaster means you get to your guy. All the defenders get to their guy. And so when they do that, They're just leaving him to run. It's like, oh, I forgot. He's a dynamic runner, too. Right? And so he's kind of putting all his skills on display. And and it's really tough for any defense, I think, is going to be for any defense to to deal with. Yeah, man. It is when you look at efficiency numbers for a quarterback. Yeah. And you want to know one thing? Efficiency, all quarterbacks that played for Michigan since Harbaugh came, when when I go back and look, Completion percentage is at least 67 or 65, something like that, and extremely efficient. But this is efficient differently. This is efficient with big plays. This is efficient with with dynamic play, not like just, hey, this is what we need you to do. You do this and we'll do the rest. This is more, hey, you do this and we'll do the rest kind of thing. And Mm -hmm. so he's really taking control of the offense. And like like you're about to say, it's super, super efficient amongst anybody in the country. He's one of the most efficient. I think, is he, is he the most efficient? Yeah. As far as completion Leading percentage, I know QBR. he's out. Leading oh, right. QBR. Okay. Yeah. So he's super he's efficient. He's leading the nation in completion percentage, too. Yeah. That's, that's, I mean, that's, that's a lot of people in the nation. And if, I'm just saying, it's a lot of quarterbacks. <laughs> it's a lot of quarterbacks. And it's a lot of quarterbacks that play bad teams and haven't played good teams. Right. So you can't say, oh, he's not playing nobody. Well, you know, he's playing who's on the schedule and, you know, other quarterbacks that are considered really, really good, like Caleb Williams, as much as, you know, he's amazing. Like, let's be clear. He's played bad teams up until he just played Colorado. And technically, he's played all bad teams because Colorado's defense is without their two best defenders, right? So he's had the opportunity to have the highest completion percentage, highest QBR, but he doesn't, right? So you kind of got to look at it in, in that way. And, you know, not taking anything from Caleb Williams, he's outstanding. But um, I think that JJ's in a conversation. I mean, he's he's been dynamic and done what he's supposed to and, and that's with him having a stinker of a game against Bowling Green, mm-hmm. right? He's still leading the country after having that bad game against Bowling Green. Like, it's super impressive. So, let's give Sharon a little nod here in the praise in the game. Because, you know, you watch how he calls a game, and I've been asking Borges about this, asking other play callers about this. I mean, he doesn't call it like a old line guy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He the 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 concepts in the passing game 
to how he uses his quarterback. Man, because O-line guys call games how Iowa calls games. Right, that's how old line he's. That's why you see that guy. old line guys be OC because it's boring as heck, man. <laughs> it's like, dude, what are you doing? Are you you are three yards in the cloud of dust? You're not playing. You believe in three yards in the cloud of dust, right? And, and I think yeah, you're exactly right, especially for a guy that you know is kind of thrust into the coordinating duty without previous coordinating experience, and it's just like, I don't think he was an old line guy to begin with, though. Right, I think he learned to be an old line guy. Right, he's learned old line and became a good old line coach, and and I think that's kind of the person he is. As far as like, I need to get better at something. I need to do this. Oh, uh, I need. I, oh, I'm a deficient in this. I need to learn this. Oh, if somebody's doing this, oh, he's doing a good job of this. Let me steal that from you. And and it's a book that I have like little kids read. Uh, the kids I work with. And it's called Steal Like an Artist. All right. And all the and the the premise of the book is nothing is original. How people call then nothing is original. Everybody's stolen from everybody, right? Whether you get credit or not, that's up to you. But everybody's stolen little pieces from everybody, everybody you admire, right? Like Kobe Bryant, he stole everything from Michael Jordan and Kareem uh, Abdul Jabbar and, and Elijah to make sure he creates this amazing game, right? And so his game is technically original because he put it together the way he did, but all the things he got in his game are stolen from other people. And, and that's what you should do, right? That's what, and whether you pay homage, like I said, it's up to you. But I'm sure Sharon Moore has stolen like an artist in many different ways, uh, from, from coaching style. I'm sure he's stolen a lot from Harbaugh. I'm sure he's seen stuff from Harbaugh where he doesn't like. He's like, ah, I won't do that. And then the good stuff is like, oh, yeah, that really, really works. I'll put that in my game, right? Even with Gaddis, right? Watching Gaddis, like, mm, mm-hmm. he does a really good job with that. I don't love this too much. He's the coordinator, but I don't love this. If I get my shot, I won't do this. Right. So and I think even even Weiss, it's like, oh, man, Weiss, he's got some good ideas in that. Eh, the rest of that I don't really want to deal with. You know what I mean? And and you've had him around all these good minds of uh, football minds and, and different things like that. And I think that it's all kind of coming to a head and we're seeing uh, not quite the finished product. Right. Because he's still improving, but a really good product. Yeah. Sure. Uh, Vance has always said, man, Sharon's a good coach. You know, Sharon was a G.A. And then the tight end coach, when Vance and them were at Louisville, mm. he's like, man, that dude can coach. Right? And then he played offensive line, so he brings that perspective mm-hmm. as well. Just a, a, a wealth of, of perspectives that he that have melded to form his own. And I want to seize upon something that you talked about. as well. You said, man, you, you just got to show J.J. is a threat a little bit, right? Mm. And so there was one run in the game where J.J. running the ball – was in the scheme, like part of the plan. Mm-hmm. And that was the first one play of the game. That counter read yeah. where he pulls it, gets on the edge. Between that and having them pull a duo the week before, it had those guys on the edge hesitate. You got to think. And that's all it is. Because he don't have to pull the ball 15 times. This ain't uh, Cam Newton, Auburn, National Championship year. We're not calling – we don't have to call these design runs. But when it's on film – and he's dynamic, and he picks up 15 yards or however many yards, you have to deal with it and, and, and not necessarily deal with it in a way of we got to change our whole defense. One or two guys has to hesitate. And if one or two guys hesitate, I just talked to – uh, so Daquan Finn, you know, at Toledo right now, he just had the best game he's, he's had. He's he, foreign completions. He played really efficiently. And all the things we've talked about for years, he, he kind of got to it in this game. And and he had some really nice plays, deep throws, runs, and all that. But his best play for me was a play where he handled the ball and then he fake ran real hard, right? And so it was an inside zone, and he got to cut back because the outside linebacker uh, to the side he's faking to and the defensive end, both unblocked, completely just – they just looked at him for half a second. The running back was able to get skinny, cut it back, and, and burst for a big run, right? And it's just like – you didn't even do anything, but but just give the threat of you running outside, and they had to respect you, right? And so that goes unnoticed for quarterbacks. And, and the one thing you have to do, and, and I always tell the quarter, young quarterbacks, older quarterbacks I work with, play without the ball because you can block guys. You don't know who's looking at you, right? And so the fact that you just show that a little bit, right, hand the ball off, hand the ball off, hand, move, it, it's going to open up space for the running backs to get through. And, and Mullings had a touchdown that was similar to the one I described with Toledo where – you know, you hand it and he's able to cut back. And it's probably because those backside guys are like, man, I can't let this quarterback. I can give running – running backs are supposed to run. I can give that up. I cannot deal with this quarterback running for a lot of yards. We can't do it. We can't allow it. So, I, I think that uh, it's it's a, it's a really good thing that they show it uh, just in spurts. And if we need to lean on it, he's proven we can lean on it as well. Absolutely. I mean, and they have done a, a remarkable job of basically nullifying the duo buster defense. J.J. pulling the – there was some talk that you can't – and I get the talk. 
you can't run duo against three three five team. They ran a duo up. They, they ran Wait, a why, duo why down can't the throat. You? I mean, you saw the run throughs that that TCU had. I mean, Whoa. It is, but but now you they they've pre- seen it. They've yeah, seen it so much. Yeah, if you prepare for it, you can kill it. Now you know who if to you block. prepare for it, you can kill it. I mean, kill it. That's why Coach Rod ain't here no more because you run a three three five and, and people. Uh, I'm sorry. What are you doing? We're gonna bust your head wide open. Now, when you playing fast like that, with the, like I teach you did, especially if you're not ready for it, it's hard, right? Because you can't get your alignment up to the second mm-hmm. level. There is no second level, right? They bust you at the line of scrimmage, essentially. But if you can plan for that, who said you can't? What? Uh, Coach, boom, man, boom. Coach, Coach Rod got up out of here because of that. And I love Coach Rod. <laughs> that 3 3 5 wasn't stopping. Nothing. Hey, man, he tried to install it in the middle of the season. Yeah, it's like, tough. That's tough. That's tough. Because he's tough. like, man, we get killed. Shoot, we might as well do it how I think it work. I'm not going to help y'all, but y'all do it. (laughs) You know, it's tough. All right, folks, that was Devin's appraisal of the game brought to you by Mark Orr at Lake Michigan Credit Union. Mark Orr, mortgage loan officer at Lake Michigan Credit Union, specializes in assisting healthcare and educational professionals. You can contact Mark at mark.or at lmcu.org. That's mark.or, that's O-R-R at lmcu.org to get pre-qualified. You got to get to a break. By the way, if you have questions for DG and you're watching on the on the stream, start getting them in now. We'll get to the MMQ and A a little bit down the line. I want to pat myself on the back because before I had I interrupted your uh, your read before because uh-huh. a guy named Mark, his name's Mark Carmen, he texted me at the time. It was, it was a while ago, and I just let you finish. I'm like, oh man, I ain't talked to Mark in a little bit, <laughs> and I know he's probably listening. Like, hey Mark, <laughs> <laughs> hey Mark. Hey, All right, doing? we got to get to a break. More with our Monday morning quarterback on the other side here with Michigan Insider on Sports Talk 1050 WTK, the ticket. We're on the radio. Sam, I have to ask Devin's thoughts on, uh, first of all, uh, this from uh, you guys have a Bucks troll, but he was just shouting out, giving you the like, and then he was heading out. Hey, man, that dude comes every week. Yeah, and he wanted to give you a shout out, but I have you seen this? Yeah. Don't they have to pay you for that? Oh, uh, I'm just letting them collect. Don't worry. Hey, man. Yeah, they got to pay you for that, right? Yeah. It, you know, just let them collect, collect. Uh, I've been talking. To, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, Joe Simon. Joe Simon. Don't they have to pay this man, this man yeah, for his likeness? Call Joe Simon and see what we can do. Come on, Joe. Let's make this. Our Michigan lawyers in the stream. There's got to be some Michigan lawyers in the stream. They've taken this man's image and they're for years profiting. and millions and millions. Yeah, they're, they're gotta, profiting off hey, of it. The, the money they breaking in, you know, just settle me out, man. That's yeah, come on, just settle me out. Come on. Yeah, get get your Michigan lawyers in the stream. Just come on. This is you know, just hit me yeah, up. That, and, that will not do. Yeah. That will not. Flim, what's up, Flim? What's going on, man? That's one of Freddie J's old guys. <laughs> you know your old head because he said Femi <laughs> Morris is watching. <laughs> That's an old Freddie J guy for show. Sure. We right? can see your name, Flemmy. <laughs> What's up, Flim? No, Flim, when I wanted to know, hey, man, whenever I want to know some Texas guys, some Texas recruits, yeah. like Flim, Flim is on them. So, Flim, it's good to see you, man. Hey, we got to be uh, in, 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 in. Nalo with two ends. I guess one end is silent. <laughs> he said, I'm the one that did the math. Oh. Hey, so listen. I don't know how he did it, but you you smart, boy. And so listen, I know that there are some artistic Michigan fans out there. I'm serious. I will take the flag from Ralph Trezvon's people. And wait, but does it count if you just use the image? You put Man, Ryan Day's head on it? why are you still on this? Because I want somebody to put Ryan Day's head on Ralph Trezvon's body in the video. One so I had it ready guys. for November. Come on, man. I'm 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 ready. Y'all gotta know. I'm getting ready Wolverine for that. Wolverine fan two spelled my name wrong. We're not doing that comment. What is wrong with you, man? <laughs> Devon. Devon. What's up, Flip? Devon What's White up? was a pretty good baseball player. I'm sure. Devon White. Okay. Yeah, those are great, great people. Yeah. yeah it was good to see Marion back on the field. That's right. Oh, Marion played. Did he play? We got we had a lot of guys. Well, back. I mean, I don't, I don't remember seeing him get some snap. But he was in uniform. He was on the travel. We got squad. zero back. We got uh, uh, more Rob Moore. Rob Moore, one of my favorite players. Stand by I don't know what his voice sounds like, but I know he can play. All right. He's yeah. 
Just wait. He that deal. <laughs> yeah, like he that him. deal. He that deal. Even from when he was a freshman, he was nice. Remember, he was playing in the slot a little bit. I'm like, who was 19? Like, oh. Monday morning quarterback, play safety Devin year. Gardner. Brought to you by Grand Traverse Resort and Spa on Sports Talk 1050. WTKA. The ticket. Grand Traverse Resort and Spa. Where it's fairways, not freeways. Book your vacation at GrandTraverseResort.com. You playing some some yay? This this this. I gotta actually, testify. Okay, come on. I'm gonna I'm gonna extra... weave some yay. I didn't know this was coming, day, I, uh, but it, it I'm dawned on me. I'm gonna weave some sky, yay baby girl. into this conversation. I'm gonna weave some yay into this conversation. And you know, yay crazy, but yay got. Have you watched the the documentary on on Netflix? Nah. Oh, it's amazing. You got to. I know he wild, but yeah, the way his, his upbringing and like how he got to where he is, it's 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 the story of like triumph that you have to see like you like i could see why he had crazy because they was planning they was treating him like a scrub and now he want to get back at everybody i'm just telling you i don't i don't agree yeah, with no, the he stuff crazy. he be on but he keep he crazy. crazy yeah he but crazy. his upbringing and stuff it, it's yeah. very inspirational yeah so i'm gonna weave yay in, in, into this portion that's the it just you know it's, it dawned on me thank you miss thank you i uh, can he hear me thank you for the music sorry that y'all can't hear it on he plays touch the sky before we came <laughs> back on all right it's time for the Driving Force Update with Devin Gardner, brought to you by Golden Limousine International with Golden at the wheel and Devin on the mic. Whether on the field or riding in a Golden Limousine vehicle, it is always about the quality mm. of the drive. Man, we went to, so we're going to be doing this uh, My Ann Arbor segment for our Drop and Dime show. Mm. So I went out to see the party bus. I was like, we got to get the party bus. We got to get the party, party bus. Party bus code. Oh, the party bus code, man. The golden limo party bus. Are you going to bring cold. your backpack on that party bus? <laughs> I know. No, we're going to have a. Has gonna anybody have a ever, er, anybody in the stream or on, the, <laughs> or, or listening to the car, have y'all ever seen Sam without a backpack on one arm? Now, if you got it on two arms, it don't count. Have you ever seen him without a backpack on one arm? Hey, man. That I, is hilarious. So now I I've never my, seen you in my life without, a, except do, for in here, obviously. So you know, I'm surprised you don't sit at the desk with one on. Do you know I have started wearing my backpack on, on both arms? You've been two trapping? <laughs> you, <laughs> oh, Sam, you can't be two trapping. Yeah. You a one strap guy. So now when I leave the press box, I got it on both. I got it on both shoulders. Oh, are you clipping it in the middle too? <laughs> Cause I remember you used to have no. a clip on your deal, Come on, man, nah, look, but you were single strap. You still gotta look a certain kind that of way. That single strap, that strap was tired. <laughs> <laughs> you used to be wearing that strap out. Hey man, all right, oh, all right. Let's man. get to it. Let's get to your driving force update. This is where you assess specifically the quarterback play in the game. Devin Gardner, go. It was outstanding, and I just want to point out that. <clears throat> Early in the season, when uh, they played Bowling Green, he was rolling left out of bounds, and he threw a ball that I said maybe he should have thrown away, yes. But that's a skill that he absolutely has. He just missed. And we are not going to take the stinger from the B. We need to make sure he's still capable of doing plays like that, the confidence to make plays like that, because he ain't the rest of the quarterbacks. He ain't previous quarterbacks in Michigan's lore. He can make that play. Nine times out of ten. So you go into this game, and obviously play good all around, running around doing his deal. He's rolling left with a dude bearing down. It's almost like he said, you know what? I well, I listen to the Sam, Sam try to uh, attack Devin on, on Mama. And he probably, and, don't you stop me. Don't you stop me while I'm going. He probably listened, and he was like, yeah, Devin, Devin is 100% right. And so I want him to be able to just – Punch Sam square in his nose with with verbal attack because I'm gonna make it look exactly the same. I'm gonna actually even I, 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 I'm gonna get even closer to the sideline this time and I'm gonna throw an absolute laser. So much so the announcers are gonna come in and say he's not being mentioned with Caleb Williams and all these guys, but he got to because that's a play that obviously you tell your quarterback don't do that. We don't need to do that. Throw it away, do all that, blah, 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 blah. but then when you got a guy that's special, oh, you can't tell him not to do that. And I'm so glad that I had the wherewithal to say, <laughs> obviously, that's a bad play in the interception, but that's something oh, that I he's fully. That. I remember you saying that was a bad play. We have ahead. the recording, so you yeah. can just back off, okay? Well, okay. And, and I'm not done. Okay. This is Devin's drive. 
I'm driving, okay? I'm waiting. And throws a absolute laser off platform. Can't possibly be done. Sam doesn't believe. Touchdown. Oh, it was good. It was and then you're going to get on the internet talking about, ah, oh, damn, they're going to let him break down that play. Yeah, you're right. I am going to run play. And we're going to bring back the, the side oh, by yeah. side, too. Yes. Okay. So we can't do it here because then they'll flag yeah, us. Yeah, of course. They'll flag us. Everybody oh, remembers. So let me let make sure. Are you, are you done? I'm a little are done. Are you done, DJ? I'm done. He was sure. really good. He was really good. He did all. Th- he, I mean, he did all things he's been doing. Right? It's not like this is different. It's just that he had that one bad game, and then he does something that happened in that same bad game. Uh, he, that the run on the uh, the touchdown run, I loved it because that was when I was talking about about the plaster. Like nobody even recognized that he was running because it's just like he doesn't run a whole bunch. But everybody forgets like he's a four four good. Like he's fast. He really can run. He has good running instincts as well. So that was super impressive. I love that that play. I mean, there's no – all the Nebraska players are just plastering to their dudes because he's running the throw so much that he's like, now I'm running the run, and you guys don't even know. So, really good day. Um, I'm glad that he gave me the ammo to tell you to shut your mouth, Sam. I love talking to you, Webb. My guy. <laughs> love talking to you, Webb. And I'm sure that was sarcastic. I heard what you were saying about that interception. Oh, no, no I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not even changing my opinion on the play. You don't have to. So, are, are you done? You can sound crazy all you want, Urban. Here's what. No, 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 no. See, now you're trying to equate to this. this He already has a name. His name is Scam Web. This is the scam. This is the confirmation (laughs) bias. Isn't that that your phrase? Confirmation bias coming. No, that's 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 first guessing. That's first guessing. Confirmation bias. That's not. I'm not a front runner in this. I said it for a fact when it was an interception. So so, here's here's the thing. I didn't disagree with you on JJ can make that throw. Yeah, no choice. I disagree. Huh? What? Uh, what? I didn't disagree with you on. Yeah, JJ can make that throw. Stay aggressive, but be responsible with the football. Of course. Right. So the difference between these two plays is JJ never broke contain in that first play. The the guy he tried to get around was right there. And as he got to the sideline, it was another dude in his face who hit him just after he threw the football. But on this play, what does JJ do? He breaks contain immediately. And is outside the guy. Gets outside, breaks the pocket. There's no one in his face. He's able to turn and square his shoulders oh. and throw it down the football field. Go look at we're gonna show the side by side and show you the circumstances aren't the same. So let's bring Ye in. So let's you, bring Ye in. So you telling me he squared his shoulders? Cause, 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 yes, he did. Let's bring Ye into the conversation. Because I've been trying to counsel my guy, DG, to stay on your scent. Like I've been telling Counselor you, I've, you. Yes, to, to don't be like Reggie Bush. God, don't don't be like Reggie Bush. All you've been doing is but, but on, Reggie. on this, you can be like Reggie Bush on this one thing. What is it? Well, I'm confused. Where is this going? This is because good. Reggie got one thing right. What? When it came to Kim, got it right. <laughs> See, Wait, what you when, when it came to right? Kim, when it came to Kim, so you know, all, these celeb- all these celebrity mm. news, you're a celebrity guy mm-hmm. now. I've been telling you, watch oh, out. I've been telling you to watch out for the Vipers. Watch out for the Vipers. Been telling you, right? Like DG, come on, man, be careful. Like you can you can run that play, but you got to run it a certain way, right? You got to run it a certain way, DG. You can't just run it all willy nilly. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> right. I don't you know where this is going. You can run the play like Reggie. Reggie got in there, you know, got a little date, yeah, yeah, got yeah. a little date, got out. Got to get out of there. But you see what Ye did? Uh, Ye went in there and got married. <laughs> see, it, it, it looks the same, this, but the circumstances are different. Like you can run the play, but you gotta run it in the right scenario, in the right situation. Don't run it like Yay, run it like Reggie. See, you can do that, DG. That's why I'm telling you. Get play, out, get in, get out, get in, get and get turn out. yourself about. Get in, get out. So on this play, it looks the same, but the circumstances are just a little bit different. He gets outside it, he breaks contain immediately. No one's in his face. He's able to turn and square. He's able to make an accurate throw down the football field. I want you to make that play because you are different. You are a different human being. You're a different athlete than these other guys out there. Just like you, DG, you're a different analyst. You're a different commentator than most of these other, uh, and, and a different celebrity than most of I these am other not brothers a out there. Yes, you are. No, yes, not. You are. All right, they're coming for you, DG. We had women saying, DG, you want to come stay with me in Hawaii? We had them last <laughs> week. Nobody said yes, that. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. Oh, my god! I'm not gosh. making that up, DG. Okay, wanna, here we go. Okay, okay. Are, you done? Are you done? Are you done? Are you done? Are you show the side by side. Are you DG. done? Yeah, I'm done. That is funny. You are funny. 
I, I think you missed your calling. Hey, man. I think you missed your calling. You should just do comedy radio or like stand up with one strap on. That should be your thing. That should be your thing. One strap and tell hey, a joke. <laughs> You you I'm are crazy. Wild. I'm making I'm making a it, Sam is wild, LT. I'm you lie. I ain't lying. You are hilarious. I don't even know how you tied that together and strung that up. But somehow, somehow, it kind of it kind of goes. I don't want to <laughs> give you that credit. I don't want to give you that credit. You're wild. You're a wild boy. <laughs> hey man, no. But to your point, I was with you, and and Harbaugh was on it as well. Because remember, look after the game, Sharon was like, "Look, throw it away." the ball away in that in that situation but harbaugh on monday said exactly what you said i know we want him to stay aggressive right so we don't want to we don't want to take from him the making thing that makes him special making plays mm-hmm. like that but you want it to be you did you want it to be in the right scenario you know, if you got a situation like that most quarterbacks nine out of ten quarterbacks can't do what jj did mm. saturday I know one that can. Caleb, he, he threw one too. He he came with rolling left and threw it back to the middle of the field, but didn't stop rolling left. And he took it to the crib. I mean, he's open. You got to throw it to him. You have to do it. And when you can, you should. When you can, you should. You, right. When you can, you should, man. And, and, and it's so difficult because even though both both these guys, they did play sports, uh, other sports as kids, you know, Caleb and JJ, they didn't play at the like high school. You know what I mean? They were pretty much quarterbacks from high school up. You know what I mean? Especially, obviously, in college, they only play football. And so to have that third baseman, that torque of the body to get the ball, I don't think you understand how hard it is rolling left, not only to make the throw accurately, but to have the velocity to get it there, right? It was some juice on that ball that went to uh, Roman Wilson, right? For 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 um, for um uh, Caleb Williams, his was a little more open, so he didn't have to put as much juice, but you still got to have enough to get it there. And, and so both those throws, I, I want to, I would rather do a side because you're wrong. So I would rather just do a side by side of those two throws. So people know, like, like J. Cole said, you got to sometimes put it in your face because there's only a couple guys that can do it like that. And, and Michigan has one of those guys. They do. They do. And so you want him to do the special things that only he can do. And you wonder, you wonder what plays like that. Well, he they, did that play for me. I'm just going to let you know. I don't care what you're talking about. He did it for me because everybody in the stream was, oh, he can't do that. He turned it over. Da, 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 da. And I was like, yes, man, I'm just telling you, dog, he can get down on that. I'm just telling you, he got that in his see, game. I don't think he was, did was it anybody, for me. Shut it, Was Sam. anybody saying. <laughs> yeah, don't. people in the stream was. Well, they shouldn't. They shouldn't. Have. If, if, and you kind of was, too. It is what it is. No, I was not. Yeah, no, you I can say not. that already. No, no, we got to go to a break. I, re- <laughs> I remember saying, if there is tape, you want him to stay aggressive. You want him to make special plays. But. In that scenario, live to fight another day. You got a guy right on your tail. You got a guy about to hit you in the face. You can't turn and throw like you just did here, where there was no guy in your face. There was no guy on your tail. It was guy on his tail. You were able to turn. It was guy on his tail. We're going to watch the play. We're going to watch the replay. You saying it wasn't a guy on his tail? Not like it. Not like it. Bowling Green. It was guy on his tail. In the Bowling Green play, he got hit as soon as he threw the football. Did he get hit on this play? No, he didn't. It's a difference. Guy on his tail. It's a difference. He just missed the throw. He's having a bad day. Quadis is back. Hey, Quadis, that's my girl. Hey, Quadis. <laughs> we see, do be guys, hollering. Stop here. hollering, Sam. You got Sam. Me hollering, man. No, you be no, hollering. I like holler. you, just, you just hollering about Kanye West and Kim Kardashian <laughs> and Ergy Bush. And we talk hey, about football. I, you a wild I boy. I was going to say something different than did. Miz had Ye playing, so I figured... Let's weave that in. Let's weave Ye into the con. And I know you're a Ye fan. You so a so I, what was your I original? Tried, I tried to make it. I'm not a, hold to, on. I, yeah, hold on. Hold on. Oh, I am Ye not fan? a Ye fan. Oh, okay. I'm an older Ye fan. I'm a, I'm a fan uh, of Ye's upbringing old, and story. Right, I got I'm you. afraid I'm a, I'm a fan of the dropout. Right. But let's be clear. <laughs> hey, let's be clear. I am Thank not a Kanye Devin. West fan currently. Thank yeah, you, I'm Devin. With you. I'm But right I'm a fan. With if you watch that, Ye- it's called Yeezus, I think, or something like that. I- I've showed it to the young kids I work with because this is the kind of confidence you have to, like the kind of confidence he had with people in his face telling him what he is not is unbelievable. To still maintain that confidence, you could see like the hurt that he was feeling because people were just hating on him and telling him he ain't nothing and, and pretending they wanted to hear him <laughs> rap just so they could get his beats. And he was demoralized and uh, he continued to press on. Uh, but uh-oh, let's be uh-oh, clear. Uh-oh. Currently, Borges is he's coming in early. Man, he, dude, he wants to debate Devin Gardner. I'm not about to talk he's to him. He's coming in early. Into this building? He's coming into this building I'm early today. I'm not about today. to play with him, dog. The coach? Not today. And the not today. today. <laughs> I'm going to fight that old man today. The coach and I'm going to fight that old man today. I'm not playing with him. 
Hey, tell him don't come here. He said, I got your back, Sam. The coach and the student. I, I will whoop him. He always talking about how he got one butt but, but whooping left. And it's either going to be me or Denar. He might as well use it on Denar. Because I'm putting hands on his old man today. See, here's the thing. Y'all actually agree, though. And I actually agree with you. Like, you want JJ to make plays <laughs> like that. So no one is saying otherwise, but. Hey, this, if he talk crazy, play. I'm punching that old man in the face. <laughs> All right, folks. So be sure. I'm going to put it. I'm going to Be like, sure the boxing live, match is coming. I'm live stream it. It's up. The boxing match is coming. Because I'm putting hands on this old man today. I'm sick of him. Al, right. gorgeous, gorgeous, whatever you want to be called today, you're going to be ungorgeous hey, man, if I get done with you. Break. We got to get to a break. I'm we putting hands on that these, old man. We got to get to these questions. <laughs> I'm putting hands on that old man today. We have a Who lot even taught him how to text? Damn. Man, all right. I'm having too much fun this morning. All right, folks. Uh, the Driving Force update was brought to you by our friends at Golden Limousine. Golden Limousine International with them at the wheel and Devin on the mic. You don't get anything better. Getting you to your end zone safely, rested, and relaxed is Golden Limousine's goal. No matter what time of day or night, Golden Limousine will get you there. All right. They're all standing, and I'm going to fight all boards. <laughs> GoldenLimo.com. Hey, by the way. Imagine uh, having to ride in the gold limo with Al Borges. Said, uh, Dave, oh, he'd be sure. David Van Reen said, no elder abuse, DG. No oh, no, abuse. I'm getting down on that old man today. <laughs> you sound like Ryan Day right now. <laughs> we got to get to <laughs> Oh, Borges ain't that old now. Come on now. He's not. Don't he's do not, orange he's Borges not, like that. He's not. He's not. We got to get to a break. Questions for DG on the other side here. Other Michigan Insider on Sports Talk 1050, <laughs> yeah. WTK, the ticket. Monday morning quarterback Devin Gardner brought to you by Grand Traverse Resort and Spa on Sports Talk 1050, WTKA, the ticket. Grand Traverse uh, Resort and Spa, where it's fairways, not freeways. Book your vacation at GrandTraverseResort.com. I'm coming to the. the He's out, though. No. Hold on, look at this one. I don't know. Al got that low center of gravity. You <laughs> got that low center of gravity. Hey, man, low center of gravity means something. I got that, too. <laughs> Sick. I'm going to beat him up. Ah, I'm going to beat him all up. All right. He said, DG, you better be good to Al. Hold on. He said, gorgeous Al is the perfect WWE name. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, oh my god uh, Al Borges Hey y'all listen I know we're having fun But y'all gotta get these questions in for DJ Nobody asking questions Nobody asking questions They they reacted to they the just analogy it. What is going on Hey we gotta be focused We gotta stay <laughs> flocked in Okay guys Get it together Man Oh man All We right. should live stream me and a Borges fighting That's what we should okay, do I'm gonna, I'm gonna try I'm talking about a physical fight I want to see him <laughs> In, in boxing shorts fight that up to his man. nipples. I want to see boxing shorts up to the nipples. He can wear a tank top if you want. Up to the nipples, DJ. Yep, because, you know, you got to cover up that stomach so you can't, you know, because you got to you gotta show below the belt. Uh, uh, man. Boxing gloves, everything. Head gear. All right. I'm trying to get these. these. Oh. <laughs> what about this one? <laughs> so his girl came down. You ain't see that? What? His girl, so they took him out in the third quarter, and there was a camera shot of his girl coming down to give him a kiss on the field. Not on the field. I don't even behind know behind the bench. Behind the bench. On the field. Like her feet. Was yeah, on the field? she came down. She was down not field on the level. Not. She was on field level. She wasn't on the field. He was on the sideline, and then he went back behind. the Wait, bench. not from the stands. She came out of the stands, and he he oh, walked. He the man. <laughs> he the man. <laughs> Oh, so would do DG wait, thoughts? Wait, DG wait, thoughts? Wait, he the man. Hold on. I would have never been there had that. I don't think. Wait, wait. You just said. But I mean, you got to be the man to have your girlfriend come on the, her feet on that field during the game. You got to be that guy. <laughs> but we've been saying he's he that more, guy, right? No, nah, he more that guy than I thought. That's the level. That's the level. That's Caleb level. That's that, that's that's a that's a high level to during the game. You know, because you know players take their jerseys, throw the pads off, stuff like that. That's you got to be the man to do that. But to have your girlfriend come show you some love because you didn't got down on somebody, but the game's still going, that's that's a lot. That's that's big time. I'm jealous a little bit. Nah. <laughs> Dang, JJ. I don't even think, man, we might as well stop doing this show. JJ is at a high back, level. Coming back. All right, we're coming back. We'll go long to get some of these questions in. I got to go back and find them. Dang. That's he wild. 
Hey, Damn, I, got I knew he was the man, but hey. Yes. Back on radio in five, four, three. Do the next days. That's good. Biz, he's, I mean, I think, I think we got to give him some credit for kind of oh, set, we, setting wait, the mood. Have we not? <laughs> set, I mean, we have, but kind of yeah. setting the tone. Yeah. Because I wouldn't have thought but, of that. We can't that, just that give it all is because the thing is, Ira's putting it oh, at yeah, the perfect oh, yeah. time. No, no, no. no. He's picking the, the part because no. it's a plethora of options and he put the right yeah, stuff in there. Yeah, I wouldn't have had that. That yay thing wouldn't have happened without That's what I'm saying. the music. So, so I'm like, hey, Miz man. and Ira as a unit. But Miz did pop it off with the with the selection options. Yeah, know? so we are back here, folks, on the Monday Morning Quarterback, brought to you by Grand Traverse Resort and Spa. Grand Traverse Resort and Spa is where we'll be for Friday morning show. Cannot wait to see our friends, uh, Eric and Caroline, and all the folks up there at GTR. I get to have my Flint style Caroline. So, right, that's got to be on there. That's got to be on there. We got to yeah. do that, right? I sung that to her. Remember I said that on the, uh, when we was on the Zoom or something you like that? Or it? maybe I was just on the phone. She might not have knew that song. No, she knew. She, had, she, she knew the song? You think she knew? I don't know. I don't know. She responded. She play. reacted like she knew. I'm going to play it for her. We're going to play. Get that. We're going to play because Caroline will come on the show on Friday. We're uh, gonna, had that be her intro music. Oh, that'd be sweet. That'd be sweet. That'd be sweet. Yeah, that'd we make sweet. that happen. Sweet. Yeah. I and want then, now. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking now. Did she know what I was singing? I or she was just like, oh, you're singing a song to me. Did you make it up? I don't think she. Maybe she didn't. She had to. Well, she's we'll going to announce, we'll gonna announce the next time you sing it to her. Yeah, of course. There you go. All right. So we're going to be up at so Grand Traverse Resort course. and Spa Friday and then Saturday for the Key Bank Countdown to kick off. And they say, Ira, they say up at Grand Traverse Resort and Spa where it's fairways, not freeways. Yes, but fairways will it, for me, freeways <laughs> maybe for you. Will it be fairways for you this weekend? I'm going to keep my fingers crossed. The, uh, weather's, the weather's taking a turn in the wrong direction, but I'm going to keep my fingers crossed. All right. So, man, this show has been... First of all, DG, mm. I love you, brother. You know that, right? Of course. You know I'm always looking out What you for about you. to do? I'm not about to do anything. You always try to butter me up before you about to talk to about somebody. That's true. That is not true. I appreciate it, Sam. I'm just saying, man, I had so much fun. I was tired this morning. I had so much fun. You you kind of lifted a brother up, so I appreciate you. I'm, hey, I'm your, I'm your, what's that, uptime? <laughs> I'm your uptime, man. You don't got to drink that garbage no more. I'm your uptime. Oh, no, nah, bro. I was out of uptime, so this, this is a tall one, too. This is like, yeah, 20 ounces. And if you angle it the way, uh, that way on the camera, it looks even taller. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and get to it. Um, let's skip that question because you already asked, asked answered the question about JJ's girlfriend on the bench or on the sideline. All right. And for people uh, on the radio, one. my take on it, he the man. <laughs> way more the man than I even thought. He is on another level. Yeah, I, I should have knew when before. I was seeing his commercials. I wanted to send me some of that gear. Some of that, I forgot, Aura, Aura or something? I don't know. Something he, he, it looks very soft. Hey, hey, JJ, you know what? Send me some stuff, man. Hey, man, we had talked about it on X, man. Where's Jim? You know what? No, I mean, leave that man alone. He got to get ready for game, man. Don't be doing that. Leave him alone, man. I mean, it's just an endorsement thing. Let's go. Uh, All right. You know. Kobe Nichols. Maybe we can be a commercial together. (laughs) You guys can trade shoes and clothes. All right. Kobe Nichols wants to know. He said, it's been a minute since we've had a QB make it and make it to and compete in the NFL. Do, Do JJ's skills translate to today's NFL game? Well, you just couldn't find questions, huh? DG answer the man's man. question. He ain't been to the show if he asked that. Answer the man's he question. He haven't been to the yes. Maybe he has. Yes. So what skill specifically? DG? No, he need to go back and watch all the shows. That's what you need to do. Next question. What are we doing? DG. And, I, and I, that's not block can worthy. Can you answer I the man's block... question so I, I can find some yes. more questions? I said yes. His I mean, skills elaborate. do translate. See, you say yes and you sound like Reggie Bush. You better than Reggie Bush. Yes. He look he's he's the Reggie Bush of watchers. <laughs> Technically, Sam, you asked a yes no question. Devin gave a Jim Harbaugh answer, not a Reggie Bush answer. Well, he a Jim Harbaugh I'm answer. I'm so glad when he D-Boy does is it, with me. When he JJ was with me when he made that play Hold to on. Get, get, get that Hold Sam. On. Ira got my Hold back. On. Me is obviously no, J- when, Jim has literally been asked those kind of questions. He goes, if you ask a yes no question, I'm gonna give you a yes no answer. It depends on who's asking. When I ask Jim a yes no question, I get yes, so and so and so. So you putting him on your level? I'm confused. So, I mean, he's a he's a listener. He's a fan. He ain't a listener because if he was he's listening, he would have had a different question. He's a fan of you. D- Why are you giving me I'm a fan of tangent? him too, but I'm not a fan of his Kobe, question. Kobe, I'm sorry that he's not answering your question. Kobe. I said yes. I- Ira just made it very clear. He is the facilitator. He said yes to All a right. yes or no question is a good answer. All Am right, I right? Keep going on. Nailed it. Nailed it. All right. Thank you. Uh, here's one for you. 
DG, stop being humble. I'm not. We didn't forget about you. Guy gave it all for Michigan during down times. Imagine, imagine having him now. So, how about DG in this offense? How would you have? Man, if I was playing this offense with people blocking, you know? Wow. Whoa. I'm. I'm just. Oh wait, wait. I asked the question wrong. Would DG be good in this offense? DG would be unstoppable. Oh, that's a yes, no question. In this offense, that's a yes, no question. But I want to answer it differently. <laughs> but, but I'm, you, the, I'm the person but answering you ask crazy. The question, <laughs> it, DG it's would have been un, It would have looked similar to what JJ's. I'm just telling you, would have been unstoppable. Just I will find a point back to remember 2012 when I j- jumped in that quarterback position after having playing it all year and just was all over, just getting down. That's what it would have looked like, except for maybe even better because that offense line was good, but this one. Back to back, Joe Moore war winning. So you know. All right, here's here's one. I know we don't deal very much with the run game, but Khalil Mullings, quality two and south. He- I, I wanted to say that during the show earlier, but I forgot because I just wanted to attack you so much. <laughs> um, but I'm super impressed because remember, I was super against like why are we giving him the ball? Like, what are we doing? Obviously, you know, he's strong, I guess, or whatever, but he's like running in the back of people. We don't have time for that. Shoot, he got some vision from somewhere. He been looking, he's been watching Big Noon with, with Mark Ingram. He's like, Man, I got vision. I don't know where he got this vision from, but he probably had an old off season of getting a chance to run and learn how to find holes or whatever. He's done a very good job. I mean, I, I mean, I don't know he, he's done as he's always doing it, but this past game, he had some plays where he found some lanes that, you know, you just didn't know. And when you find lanes and are able to get through the second level untouched, I mean, that was impressive. I like it. We got to get to a break, but if we're going to keep the questions or get out of here. We're going to get to more of the questions in the stream. So if you listen on the radio, go over to YouTube. You can watch the rest of it on the YouTube channel or watch it later. Uh, you'll be able to see it in its entirety. As always, folks, thanks for watching another edition of the Monday Morning Quarterback brought to you by our friends at Grand Traverse Resort and Spa. We'll see you on the air here on the Michigan Insider on Sports Talk 1050, WTKA, Ann Arbor Cumulus Station tomorrow. Looking forward to it. You're good on the stream. All right. Good on the stream. All, All right. right. All right. You ain't so, seen the ticket. <laughs> so, on Khalil Mullings, though, we've talked a lot about <clears throat> JJ in the TCU game mm. and how, you know, he was going to get better from it. It was going to make him better. Two pick sixes. I mean, you said, hey, it lost him the game. It wasn't just the two pick sixes, though. Because mm. think about first time they're in the red zone, they run the Philly oh, special. Oh, of course. He fumbled all that. Yeah. yeah he, so, he runs the wrong way on the Philly special. Yeah. And yeah. then the next time, he fumbles at the yeah. one yard line, and I, and so that young man could have gone in the shell, and he did. But it was a less of him, I think. I, like I didn't blame him. I blame the calling of those plays and putting him in those positions in you. such a big moment. You know what I mean? Like the moment was so big, and it's like okay, he played an Ohio State game, and he threw the little jump pass, and and it wasn't a very good pass. He almost missed it, to be honest, right? Mm-hmm. That don't mean he's prepared for this moment on this stage in the playoff. All that, obviously, I, in real, in true honesty, there wasn't a whole bunch of people in the game that could have been prepared for that moment because it was such a huge moment. Now they will be, I think. Um, but I just think that uh, he was put in a terrible position. And so he, I think you're right. He could have gone in the tank. Mm-hmm. But I think a full year of – because remember, he got moved to that position like in the middle of the season, right? He was more – he was a linebacker, and he wasn't getting a whole bunch of reps. But I'm sure he's gotten so many more reps from that moment. And uh, it, it's, it was impressive to see, you know, this past week. I, and I commend him. He was – he what is he, like 10 yards a carry or something like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. Gary Klein said he's been hit. He's been hitting the holes hard and fast. Because he was already big and strong, right? He's a linebacker, yeah. right? So you you know what it reminds me of a little bit, and not quite at this level, but it reminds me of Allen, Braylon Allen. Is Braylon Allen at, at Wisconsin, who was a linebacker, right? He's recruited as like a three-star linebacker, but he big and strong, and I don't know how he got the running back, but, man, he's amazing. So you can have that kind of – just like a, a receiver that goes to DB, right? You know the routes of the receiving tree, so – you're you're a little bit better, and then if you can catch, you can get a lot of picks, all that different stuff. Well, I think it's the same as a as a linebacker going to running back. If you can learn to run, you know how defenses play. You know where linebackers go. You know what linebackers are susceptible to, uh, and you can kind of play off of that and be successful. All right. Here's one from Closed AI. It says, DG, <clears throat> would you like to see Michigan run some more five-wide sets, more modern spread concepts, just in case we ever find ourselves – having to play from behind. I don't think uh, five wide sets are what you need to play from behind. Or you could play from behind with a running back or four, four wide receivers, or you could, and because of our skilled tight ends, it's actually almost better to play from behind with one tight end because it's going to create a mismatch that you can exploit. So don't let like um, just the wide open five wide receivers 
it confuse you, right? You can play just as fast, just as explosive, right? There's a lot of like UCF, for example, who I've had a bunch of times this year. They don't hardly ever go five wide, but they go super fast, super explosive, downfield pass, and all the time, and they mix in the run game as well. So don't let just five wide. And, and, and to be quite frank, I don't. Uh, I think Washington State does a lot of five wide. Washington does a lot of five wide. But people on this side of the world uh, or of the United States that are playing football, you don't get a chance to go that much five wide because the defensive lines, the front seven. It's hard to just block guys and not and make it every single time and make sure that you don't get pressure on your quarterback uh, when they bring five or bring six or whatever the case may be. So you kind of always want to have a guy in like a running back tight end or whatever, but you don't have to go five wide to come back from behind or whatever. And hopefully they don't ever have to come from behind. And, you know, it might happen, um, but you don't have to be a five wide team and do that. All right, I just want to put this. No, nah, five wide would be cool. You know, see it every once in a while. Man, this seems like John, John three six Stein. Or 16. That's a hell of a name, man. John 316. Sam ZG. Make my Mondays better. This veteran salutes you both for a great, great show. I salute you too. I'm glad yeah, you man. I'm glad you I'm glad it was fun. And you know, it's mostly just it's, it was set up a couple weeks ago because Sam was attacking me. I was not attacking you. No, the attacks are strictly yours, right? Me? Yes. What do you mean? Oh, I see. I didn't even bring up you attacking me in my office. I attacked you in your office? Yeah, smoke bomb, dog. Uh, that smoke was weeks bomb. ago. That was a long time ago. That was not a long time oh, ago. That was last week? That was last week. <laughs> see, you don't tell the people about that. My bad, You dog. ain't tell Ira about that. We ain't got no more poopery. <laughs> my bad, man. <laughs> I had to break out my bamboo candle and everything. It sounds so funny because, you know, sometimes you you know you drop a little bomb here and there. You don't know if it's going to smell. And then Sam's Oh man! Oh damn it! What you doing, man? Oh no! Oh, where's my oh, candle? Where's my candle? It was terrible, <laughs> it was man. Too. It, took so it was terrible. All right. See anybody else? I I'd I know. Like, I'm so mad. I missed last Monday, or maybe I'm <laughs> I really happy Iris I missed last Monday. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, keep man. The, the question started coming in very, very strong. Seems fitting, right? Mm-hmm. Now I gotta sort because you was distracting the people with your jokes, uh, right. playing too much. They can't even get their questions People still want to know how they get off the block list. <laughs> Sam, you're one attack away from DG blocking you. <laughs> people want to know. I ain't lying. You ain't lying. Who is that? He, yeah, you are one attack away from me blocking you. But you know what Sam do? He even it out, right? So what Sam does is well, I, he, I know he massages me first. I'm writing you a and check today. And then he attacks me. So, so, right, so, so now it's kind of equal. Wait, 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 hold, hold, up, up. hold up. Are you writing me a check today? I'm writing you a check today. I apologize so, for everything so I said you today. So I got, so I got, <laughs> I carp, for I I got said you. carp lunch. Right? Oh, yeah. Because I could pay my way you off, off the list. You off that block list, for sure. <laughs> I, you write me a check today, for real? Yeah, I write you a check today, Man, for real. Man, that's my dog. I always knew you was a good guy. And you know what? That whole thing you said about JJ, you was right. He was right the whole time. He cannot be doing that. With guys bearing down, say. running out of bounds, he, we want him to keep his aggressiveness, but he can't be just throwing that. You got to throw that ball away. Oh, man. He's going to drop us. Uh, Sam Webb, that's my guy like J.J. did. That's my guy, Sam Webb. All right. Hey, put the, hey, drop that sound. Drop that sound in there right there. That's my guy. <laughs> All right. Tobias wants to know. I love talking to you, Webb. My guy. I love talking to you, Webb. My guy. <laughs> Hey, and I support your two straps. You do? I support it. Yeah, man, I, I'm wearing the two straps more now. All right, and so Tobias you mentioned, came back. You mentioned a check? Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, we still, <laughs> we still hand, in stream. Hand out. We still in stream yeah, right okay, now. Okay. So Tobias comes back with another question. It's still yes, no, but he's hoping that you you answer a little bit more. At, hey, man, at don't late. tell me what to do. I like this question. This okay. is a very good question. I think Roman Wilson is extremely underrated because usually when a guy's leading the country in touchdowns, he gets a lot more buzz, right? And I think after this week, after making that catch, right, that's one of those viral catches, right? And so, so many kids who I, which I hate, they try to create these viral moments where, oh, this, I could catch this with two, but if I could, Catch a one, everybody's gonna go crazy. It's gonna go viral. Well, Roman hasn't done that. Roman has just gone out, made plays, got in the scramble drill, done all the things, and then the natural, organic moment came where it's just like we got to pay attention because they're gonna be playing that all week. It, that's gonna be one of those plays that are shown on the college football hype videos, all that, where you pin the ball to the back of a guy's helmet and the guy just flailing his arms, can't do nothing about it. And, you know, Norman Wilson, not a big guy, but he's strong, obviously, because the dude was trying to fight for his life. He like, no, nah, dog, get on out of here. This is a touchdown. Unbelievable catch. But I think that he is extremely underrated and it won't be for long. And, and eventually teams are going to have to start 
altering the way they play defense, but it's, I don't think it's going to help because he plays in the slot. He plays outside. He does all the things. And then in the scramble drill, no matter how you were playing defense, once that scramble drill starts, it doesn't matter. All that goes out the window. And him and JJ showed an outstanding rapport with each other. Uh, and it's awesome. I was on the, I was, to be clear, I was on the Roman Wilson train um, what two years oh, ago. Yeah, yeah. So right I've, I've been on the I've been on the Roman Wilson thing, but y'all can come on hey, late to the party. That but dude was patient. He was he very by, patient. He was and you can time. see it was boiling because he's making some <laughs> outstanding plays. Right. You say he was on the squad last year too. Mm-hmm. And the year before. Now he, he got on some team. injuries. Yeah. But he was But not nothing time. to make him not be able to play. Right. So now it, it's really good to see him in it. And you know, I think he's the paradigm of what people mean when they say those who stay will be champions. Because yeah. he's a guy with that speed and that skill. He can go somewhere else in the transfer world, and he'll get some NIL, and he'll get some opportunities. Look at Andrew Anthony. He's playing good at OU, you know? Yeah, this is going to be a We thing got two now. chains and Sam, two straps. <laughs> two straps. Yeah, two straps. Yeah, he's two straps. Two straps. All right, so, DG, you're the consummate professional. Oh, here you're you go. Pro- you know some garbage coming, y'all. Pro- hey, Ira, look, you know some garbage coming, don't you? He set it up. You he set it up. Here you go. You're a pro. You're a pro. You great at what you Ish. do. I'm so proud of you all the Ish. time because you have learned. Like even this when you, is why Sam don't get blocked, y'all. See, it, take some notes from Sam before when you, you say some garbage. Football, you gotta say some good stuff. Even when you watching bad football, you figure out a way to sh- throw some great analysis on it. You might 100%. not like what you're watching, hundred percent, but you still, as a pro, these are all facts. Talk about but it. I know some garbage is coming. Yes. So <laughs> yes, crack back and dribble. Wants to know what's up with Donovan Edwards. He looks slow. Is he okay? I mean, I don't know. He just. I, I so I I don't get a chance to watch the whole game in entirety like everybody else because obviously I have a game at the exact same time. But I get to go watch back and it's just like I don't know. I don't, I think he put a lot of pressure on himself and and so as much as how con- and I wanted to have this conversation with him, but he's so like even when he be talking to me sometimes it's like dog I, like we know each other you still talking to me like like you like you know what I mean like I've been here. you know what I mean so it's kind of weird but it's just who he is and so. But I think that at some point you put a lot of pressure on yourself and, and you couple that with the pressure you already had and then a couple of that with the you're not getting as many opportunities because, you know, uh, like, he obviously anticipated Blake was leaving. Blake came back. Right. And so you're still in that same kind of role, even more, even less, though. Right. Because Mullings has gotten better and, and you're, not, you're just not getting as many opportunities. And so. When you put the pressure on yourself b- before the season and say, hey, man, yeah, I'm going pro. Like, I, that's my goal. I ain't, and, and it's cool to have goals to go pro, but, you know, speaking it out, right? Now, like I talked about last week, now everybody expects a pro. But we got to remember, he's still a young back. He haven't had a whole bunch of reps, right? He had, he's had spot duty reps. He hasn't had every down getting the feel for being able to run. Um, and so, and you know, he's had injury, all those different things. I, I think that uh, he put a lot of pressure on himself. And when you put so much pressure on yourself, it ain't a lot of people that can deal with it, right? Yeah. It's, it's not a lot of people that can deal with that pressure of I'm the best in the world. I'm going to be a pro, all these things. And I'm going to just lay it out. Tiger Woods had the pressure. He could deal with it, right? LeBron James had the pressure. He can deal with it. So I have, that's where it kind of stops. I, I've talked to him. Okay. And so – First thing that was clear is he's totally a team dude. Of course. Totally a team dude. His, you know, his early season thing was, you know, just rhythm, you know, get in the rhythm. But mm-hmm. we're winning. I'm not complaining about a thing. Of course, of course. Like, you know, it's, it's all about the team. But as we've gotten into the season or deeper into the season, I do think that the the pro thing, you know, I can see if you're if you're evaluating him from the standpoint of, is he tracking as a pro after the season? You have to say it doesn't, that doesn't look like it's on that track right now, right? To, to be able to jump right after the season. We'll see how things evolve over the year. But if you look at him, his, his performance relative to last year, really in power, really in line with that. And then the other piece that I think you got to take into account is it feels like week after week, we see them add an element of him in the passing game. The ball mm. may not go to him. But he draws attention. But he's drawing teams. attention. He's an option. And so he caught the first RPO of the season. Uh, I thought he ran a Texas route on one play. I think it was a model being an option route. He dropped it, but they ran it for him. You, they're splitting him out more. Yeah. You're seeing them do more with him in the passing game. And I just think it's, it's too prominent, too prevalent on a week-to-week basis to not think that we're going to see an explosion, at least in that capacity, in the not too distant future. Yeah, and so you know, dropping stuff like you know, obviously we don't see he, he got great hands, right? Some of the best hands on the team, and so that's why I go back to the pressure that you feel 
when you because he know he's not producing like on on the track. Like you talk about the track of being a pro and going going early or whatever. He know that he not he not crazy. Like he understand that he's not producing or or maybe even giving opportunities to produce in the way that would uh, would lend to believe that he'll be able to go pro after this year and be not like because he could go pro. Right. And honestly, I think it'd be a big market for him, just kind of like how Calvin, Alvin Kamara. Right. He was a sleeper. Right. Coming out of Tennessee, like, man, he couldn't even play Alabama, whatever. But his skill set was almost better for the NFL. Right. And so I think that that, that, that he's got that type of skill where it's like a, a team would be like, oh, yeah, I'll use a third round pick on this dude. I've seen what he's capable of as a receiver. He'll do pro day. He'll test well, all those everything. He's big, strong, fast. They'll take a third round pick on him. But his idea was I'm going early to go be a top pick, like a, a one of those right. dudes, you know right. what I mean? Right. So that that's the difference. And, and, and like you said, he could explode in those different, different, different elements, but <laughs> him, you know, putting the pressure on himself is I think oh. what helps when you, when you drop balls that you usually wouldn't drop and different things like that. It's in the, it's in the subconscious mind, maybe not in front of your mind, but the subconscious mind of like, man, I need to perform. I'm putting the pressure on myself. So this, I don't know what you're laughing at. This is a Hall of Fame comment, and I couldn't I couldn't read it on the air, but we can put it in the street. I think say. I heard those where I'm going. I'm pretty sure I knew exactly where you were going. <laughs> <laughs> Kit, Hall of Fame comment, man. Would not be on the radio, however, you will be on the stream. You can't take the stinger out the B. Kent V, you just got you you Hall of Fame. Can we put a can we create a Hall of Fame? We create a Hall of Fame right Kent, now. Kent V with the K and the on YouTube. That's that's big time. I, I wonder what he looked like. I like you know what I mean? I want to put a face to the comment. Like that was that was all time right it there. Said, Stop it with this dip dip talk. All right, only a couple more folks. Uh, because DG always wants to get nine questions in. So uh Jacob Are always, you actually counting at this point? I think so. Uh, Jacob, I might be <laughs> off. Jacob Ulrey says, DG, at this point in the season, do you think Michigan is more of a complete team than Georgia? And if they played this Saturday, what would the score be? Uh, I'm not a score guy. I'm not a what the score guy. I, I don't understand why people even do that, but whatever. Because all the people do is just go look and see what Vegas say the score going to be and then, you know, you know, make something close. But I think that Michigan is a more well-rounded team, and it's essentially just because of quarterback. Right. Quarterback is better than their quarterback. And I'm a guy when I'm when I'm looking at teams and they're similar and whatever, the quarterback is usually the difference. Right. You look at the Jets versus the the Chiefs. Right. What was the difference in that game? The quarterback. Right. And even though even though I think uh, the quarterback for the Jets play outplay Patrick Mahomes a little bit, it's the quarterback still when, when it's winning time. It, yeah. yeah. When it's winning time, the quarterback, he always makes the play. The yeah. guy. And, and so I like to pick quarterbacks. And, and if I'm if I'm saying Michigan versus Georgia, I'm picking the quarterback for Michigan. And when in the 16 yards, it was a long scramble. He, uh, Pat Mahomes had for them on that last drive. Oh yeah, and then he slid down and didn't score because he's smart. He like yeah, y'all not gonna get the ball if I slide, but if I score, y'all get the ball and then you know yeah. some goofy jump can happen. So I just think that quarterbacks you pick quarterbacks. That's what I do. I pick quarterbacks usually unless one. Uh, segment of the team is just way better, you know, like the defense is just so dominant or or the receivers are so good, no matter how good the quarterback is, or the quarterback is is close and, and you know, you kind of split in hair, so you go to other stuff. But if the quarterback is is better, I'm 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 going with the quarterback. All right. And he's so, more experienced. It's crazy to think JJ's more experienced than everybody now. Right. Right. And he's still, you know, I think of him as a young guy still, but at well, only second year full starting. But he's kind of the more experienced guy in every game he's going to play in. That's crazy, ain't it? Yeah, It's man. like it, it, time goes by so fast. All right, so um, let's shout out to uh, – <laughs> so Cade, had, he suffered a non-contact injury. He was scrambling in the end zone, playing it, and just buckled. Uh, they are not optimistic. It sounds like they think it's an ACL, so he'd be done for the season. TJ DeVries wants to know – This we already previous hear? week. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he. So we can talk about that. Yeah, he talked about um, he's just the quarterback. He doesn't call yeah. the plays. I mean, it was a long. It was a long. We didn't talk about that really. Me and you, I think, did. We went to. It was a long of who Cade is has been. He's a, he's a finger pointer, right? And he's a front runner. Things are going good. It's all good. Oh man, my defense. All this. I'm just. I love it here. All that. But things ain't going as good when it's kind of on you because you aren't explosive and dynamic as a quarterback. And you start pointing fingers. And, and you know how I feel about that. I, we talked about it on Steady Dropping Dimes with about uh, Justin Fields. I That'll turn me off to you forever because of, you know, me. I took all the blame. And, and no matter what happens on the Internet or whatever, took all the blame when you didn't when I didn't have to. And you out here just pointing fingers at your team. You're supposed to be the leader. I don't like that. And then 
point fingers at your coach who is under way more fire than you are. I'm, he on, he in jeopardy of losing his job, right? And it's supposed to be your dude. He believed in you when I don't know why. He But he believed in you. He could have got anybody else in the country. He got you and said, we don't want you to be my guy. And the things just don't go well in one game. And you're going to throw him under the bus. I ain't the coach. I don't call plays. I do not respect that at all. I don't respect it. Not one bit. So, yeah. but you know, I, you know, I hope he's, I hope he's healthy, you know, yeah. I hope he feels better and all that. But as far as that, that ain't had nothing to do with football. That's just being a man and just taking responsibility because you're the leader of the team. He, he can't play the coach as much as he called the plays. He can't play. Well, so here, here's the thing. And, and they called I, a lot of pass plays yesterday. Yeah. I want to, I wanted to get Afterwards. your opinion on that. Cause so he goes down. This, this says something about Iowa and it says something about the West. Mm. I don't think their chances were hurt. No, now, not, the, uh, not that I wish, wish injury on them, but I, I mean, the West is terrible. I think Iowa has just as good a chance of winning the West now as they did from, when I'm playing. From what I saw from the guy that they brought in, they are fairly comfortable throwing the ball with him because he, he got some talent, right? He got big arm. He going to make some mistakes, right? He threw some balls where the defense kind of uh, tricked him and, and threw in the coverage a little bit, threw interception or whatever. And they kept letting him throw, right? So they feel a way about this guy, this big old guy. I forget his name, his name was Heel. And, and they let him throw the ball. So I, like you said, if they can hone in, and I'm sure they're going to have this conversation with him, hey, you don't got to take chances as much, right? We in the West, right? You don't take these chances. We, 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 we need you to make the plays that are there. And, and if, he, if he can get that under control, they kind of – I think they might have unlocked something in the offense. They, the coach might keep his job. If it, you know, they get on a hot streak or whatever, and the defense keeps scoring points, special teams, all that. I mean, I don't know. What did the Buckeye say to get banned, Ira? What did he say? Oh, he was making fun of one of our guys who's a vet, and he t- okay. called the Army a losing team. And I don't know. I just feel okay. like – He got blocked. I, I Look at you. I mean, I know. That's I'm what I'm Devin. talking about. I want to block Wolverine fan, too. I'm, I'm just sorry. kidding. You're, uh, first of all, he's That's a Buckeye, a and he's obnoxious. But I'm sorry. Don't call – Say the army is a losing team. Last time I checked, army is pretty. You know the I, army. Are they undefeated? Not football. No, not the football team. I'm about the That's army. That's what I'm saying. They they undefeated, ain't they? Yeah, they're the army. Feel, I feel pretty safe. Now, if he <laughs> wanted to make a reference, like if he just said "go navy" as a smack talk to the army guy, that's fine. I, I lived in Maryland. I lived around navy people. Oh, so he was saying that army. He was the saying football team ar- no. He was team? saying army to the guy who was a retired army vet that was in our chat, a Michigan that's guy. Weird. He was saying no. You keep picking losing teams. And he was basically calling the army a bunch of losers. And I'm like, sorry. Like the army army? Like the army army. Yeah. So Where I, are you from? I said, you live in a different country or something? So I, I and I was not permanent. Same as short term. No, 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 no. I, was, I didn't know what he said. I didn't know what hey, he said. I, that's, I, that's, that's I, I'm on, I, I vote permanent. Cause that's just goofy. Why are you doing that? Yeah. Like, I, just come on, man. You can't just say whatever you want. I know you can on Twitter. Just say Twitter. This is our deal. You can't just say whatever you want. Figured, and that's crossing the line, yeah, I think. I, I, you know, yeah, as so much here's, as the, here's what you do, what's his name? Goji, Goji. Yeah. Hey, man, whatever, jump, yeah. cause he jumps in the comments, just offer an apology, man. Offering no, apology. no, no. Offering I don't apology. accept. You know, he got to apologize to it's, that person, and that person's probably going offense, already. First offense, and his Buckeyes go, that's saying something. Wait, how many times, how many times, we, how many offenses something. do you get? You don't get the, I mean, one strike can, can oh, he get one strike. We get to decide. No, but like one strike. It depends on how big the strike, big is. The strike is. That's oh, a huge oh, strike. Wow. That's like yeah, he attacked that, all of us. Yeah, this I like, feel fairly safe, and, and, and I'm is, not even the get on the table army guy. But it's like, why are you doing that to a guy that's just saying positive things? I I am sick of people just getting on the internet talking negative and just being mean. For what? Why are you doing that? Block him forever. I don't think he should be here. And I think the people in the chat would support that. I hear you. I'm with you. Yeah. What are you being mean for? For what? We having a good time. It's a great day. Somebody come in supporting the show. The dude's supporting the show. And then, and you a Buckeye? That's two strikes. And we're just going to uh, Matt fabricate the third. He's out. <laughs> we don't need him here. We want Michigan people here anyway. What are we doing? Right, if you get like, hey, the, like the one Buckeye guy, who is it? He comes in and he talks smack a little bit. But he also, you that know, was him. that just, was him. That was him. Oh, yeah, he out. See, <laughs> he, he got too comfortable. See, yeah. He got too he comfortable. Start filling that hole. He started filling that hole. See, now you gotta go. Hole. Dang. I like talking smack to Buckeyes too, man. Yeah, we got. I let him linger, going. right? I let him all his nonsense Buckeye stuff. He said, "Kate will be." Or, I, I need somebody to laugh. at. Hey, Devin, you can't get the names right. Devin? He said, "Jay will be great in the CFL." Some nonsense. I let all that nonsense slide. Who said it will be? Who said it will be? That same Buckeye said that JJ would be a great in the be great quarterback in the CFL. <laughs> he would be there too. He would be good there too. For real. But he's gonna be great in the NFL. Yeah, but I, mean, I let all the nonsense stuff slide because it's just harmless. But 
I, that's yeah. crazy that a Buckeye would be saying that when they quarterbacks be garbage every time. They get all these opportunities in the NFL and they be terrible. Yeah, Justin Fields looks like he's done. He played um, good this past week though, didn't he? Well, he had an interception at the at the end to lose the game. That that so wound sure. up being saying he got pressure in his face, he got tipped and returned. Because it looked he lost. was like at foot like all the way into the third quarter, he only had like one completion and one incompletion, didn't he? He had one of his best passing days though. Um, I mean, it was against playing. the Broncos. It was against the Broncos, right? <laughs> it's right. like the tallest midget down here. Yeah, but his team also, had, yeah, but his team had a twenty-eight-seven lead, and I will just repeat this stat again: the the stat was used. I don't know why, but it makes sense. So last year on October twenty seventh, Elon Musk took over Twitter. Mm. Since that time, every team in professional American professional sports has won at least one game, mm. except for the Chicago Bears. Dang. They, their last game came on October 24th last year. They have not won a game since. And I, I thought that stat was going to go away yesterday. They were up 28-7. Nope. Dang. All right. There was one more question in there, but I can't find it. Uh, so I think that's going to be it for the uh, questions today, folks. As Oh, you definitely a lot of votes for the banning. Yeah, yeah, everybody votes from, man. from Navy guys, from Army guys, from yeah, Air Force why, guys. Why we have we full military that? support. It's so weird. So weird. That was weird. But he's yeah, a Buckeye, but, so I'm yeah, not surprised. He's, yeah, yeah, <laughs> he's very right. weird. Yeah, weird guy. Yeah, yeah Buckeye, you are <laughs> not. a weird guy. All right, so Tobias, I will close with this. That's going to it, it, it won't be on the show together. But Al is coming in early. I'm not doing no. I'm not getting on no show <laughs> with Al Borges, Tobias. <laughs> Tobias, I like you. I like your comments. I'm not getting on no show with Al Borges. I'm not doing it. He coming in. He got. He's going to. Uh, he's going to crash our film session. He said. Tobias. <laughs> Tobias just want me to want to see me fight him. That's what it is, probably. He he's going to come in while we break it down the uh, break it down the tape of the game. I'm pretty sure. So I'll yeah. see what I can do, Tobias. All no, right. Oh man, don't. I'm out. Uh, <laughs> the person that would have to be involved is me. I'm telling you right now, I do not want to be on the show with Al Borges. I didn't say on the show. He tried to run into you in the building. I'm gonna put hands on him. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm putting hands on him. I'm telling you. Sick of him. All right, folks, that's gonna do it. Hope you enjoyed the stream today. Be on the lookout for the film study on Wednesday. You can see Devin again on that and on Steady Dropping Dimes. We have a lot to get into on on Dropping Dimes this week. As a lot has happened. I mean, there's Urban Meyer to talk about, right? Oh, we got to talk about Urban Meyer. There, there's my Lions serving notice Lions in the NFL, it. looking really, really good. I'm going to Lions game next week. Okay. Yep. There you go. Going to Lions game next going week. Going as, as a fan or as a just, media? Just going. Okay. I mean, I'm going to have a credential and all that, but. Yeah, yeah because you DG. Come on, man. DG. What are we doing? I can't go to no game as no in the seats. Come on, man. What are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> told you you a celebrity no um uh, we're gonna talk about drew holiday getting traded to the celtics just when Ooh. you thought right just, after he said i want to be a buck for life right oh, but, but you thought you thought that the bucks just i mean there is for sure they have ascended to the top of the east and then the celtics come in and bring in one of the best two-way guards in the league man so a lot to get into and that's and an upgrade from they got from the, the colorful hair I'm sick yeah. of him. Oh, you, yeah, you ain't like him? I didn't like You ain't like Marcus Smart? Annoying. He was tough. You he like was short, short Draymond. Yeah, he's not the offensive guy to me that Drew Holiday oh, is, though. Close. He's terrible. So. All right, folks. That'll do it for us on this edition of the Monday Morning Quarterback. We'll see you next week. Thanks a lot.